Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethman. Welcome back to another video guide for Ark. Today in this video, as the title suggests, I will be showing you how to tame one of the most cutest little creatures in Ark, and that is, of course, the Jerboa. For this, you will need berries, preferably Mejo berries or Meho berries. They are quite easy to gather, so you'll need a handful of these. You might want to have some Narco berries with you, not too many. Uh, you shouldn't really actually need them. Now, in front of me, as you just heard the little squeals, there are some Jerboas. Now, on other maps, they are not all that useful, they're just cute. However, on Scorched Earth, they are very useful for telling the weather. They do not have a lot of HP, so I recommend that you either use a club or punch them to uh, the point of becoming unconscious. Now, notice I am on a cliff, so if I go and punch this little Jerboa right here, it's going to run away. It takes about three punches to knock it out, but it's gone off the cliff and I'll have to chase it. So... You might want to have a bolo with you if you are, of course, on a cliff. Now, do bear in mind there are, there are other Jabos around. They will, of course, uh, be scared by that and try to run off. So let's find another one. I will bolo it so it does not run away into danger. And then I will punch it until it's knocked out. So it takes about two to three punches, I would say. There we go. One Jaboa down. And once it's down, just put food in its inventory. You will notice that its torpor does go down fairly quick. However, uh, do bear in mind it does not have a lot of torpor. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, this is one method of doing it. It's a bit uh, more for those that are just starting out in the game. And if you're starting out on Scorched Earth, this is one of the more important creatures. So you will want to try and guard your Jerboa whilst that is taming. I think I saw another one right there. Oh, I'm definitely going to get that one because it's black with white and I like the colors on it. But I'll show you on that one a more, I suppose, advanced technique uh, of actually getting it once you get to the point of having a long neck rifle. It does help out a lot. And as you can see, it is taming fairly quick. Do bear in mind that, of course, on my server, I do have increased taming rates. But even if I didn't, it would tame out before the uh, torpor would completely... Uh, be depleted so that's something to keep in mind there we go that is one jerboa tame now this is a shoulder mount and it does make all sorts of squeals on scorched earth to kind of let you know uh about incoming weather so if there's a electrical storm if there's a sandstorm stuff like that which is very very useful for your survival so with that said and done i will just get on to the uh, next one and I'll show you another way of taming the Jerboa now of course with that being said and done one thing that you must bear in mind with that is that um, if you use a crossbow and arrows you're more likely to kill the Jerboa because it does not have a lot of HP all Jerboas are of level 1 and of course that is quite important to keep in mind they don't have a lot of HP so a trank dart to the back knocks it out done Feed it the male berries, wait for a couple of seconds, and then you shall have a Jerboa. So I'll wait for this one to tame out, just to kind of show you how quick it does tame out. Now, of course, this is a episode designed for my How to Tame Dinosaurs series, where I will be covering every single creature in the game and how to tame it. Uh, I am pretty much more than halfway through the entire list of creatures in Ark, so... If you're new to Ark, go and check out my playlist. I will link it in this video, both um, through cards as well as at the end. So as you can see, there's plenty of your boas. You can also breed them, but do bear in mind, if you do breed these guys, you will want to be quick on feeding the babies as they will die out rather quick. So I'm just having a look. They do have, as you can see, pretty bad stats, but they're cute and... Even though I'm not on Scorched Earth and on Ragnarok, it's not necessarily a needed creature. It still is a cute creature and I still want to have one for, or actually quite an army of these guys for myself. Also important to note is that whilst the Jaboa is on your shoulder, it does not take damage if you're taking damage from wild dinos. And after you've tamed it out, as you can see, it will follow you. Although I would not recommend you do this in order to take it back to your base as it will most likely get eaten by something else. But I just want to bring it close to my creature. So that is pretty much it for this video, folks. That's how you tame a Jerboa. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content from myself. And why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. 
Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.